Tonight, we're going to take a closer look at travel and why gas prices are so painfully high right now. First, our CB Cotton is exploring why Metro gas stations are running out of gas and what they're doing to try and get things back on track. Giving people what they need is a big part of the job when you're working behind the counter. Yeah, gonna be it for you. But this week, there's one thing Nathaniel Molehouser wishes he could get in front of. Premium, unleaded, whatever octane percentage you need, we're out of it all. On Friday, this Circle K and Lakewood off of Kipling, pumps were bagged up and signs were posted. All a clear message, there's no gas here. And driver response? Uh, see them pull up, they look at the pumps. So sometimes they'll drive away, other times they'll come in and ask to be sure. And this isn't the first day that Mulhauser has had to deliver the bad news to customers. Last week, we had six days where we only had diesel. We had no unleaded, we had no premium. These bag pumps were also spotted in southeast Colorado, in Pueblo and Cannon City. I've been told by my manager that this is all due to the fact that there are not enough truck drivers to deliver the gas to all the gas stations that need it. So, you know. And he's not wrong. Industry experts tell us a shortage of truck drivers has led to supply chain problems like this, no gas. Well, the truck driver shortage has been going on for several years. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the fact that the baby boomer drivers that are out there in their late 60s and 70s are starting to get out of it going to retirement. Harold Trent directs the United States Truck Driving School. He says another contributing factor to the shortage, the COVID-19 pandemic. 2020 brought less travel, so the demand for gas went down, and many drivers were either laid off or left to other industries. They've moved on to other positions where they're getting a little bit better pay, a little bit more home time, a little better benefits. There's other hurdles too. To ship fuel, truck driver candidates have to have a hazardous materials endorsement on their license. A lot of uh, potential drivers are just not interested in, in hauling hazardous materials because of the danger and nature of the job. Or some candidates don't qualify. And there's a lot of things that can knock a potential candidate out of the hazardous materials uh, section of the CDL with regard to stuff that's on their criminal background. But DU professor and supply chain expert Jack Buffington says there are some solutions. There's different uh, market segments that trucking companies need to appeal to women, uh, minorities, because it's been very much of a uh, male dominated industries. But finding more workers from different demographics will take some time. The industry um, is continuing to try to market to you know, to get people from the military, to get people, you know, from from trade schools, from high school. Um, but it's a difficult um, situation. We've currently got four females in our classes right now, and we've seen an average of about, oh, maybe six a month female applicants. Meanwhile, Nathaniel Mulhauser is patiently waiting behind the counter to give people more of what they want gas included. It's sending people around everywhere. It's giving us a hard time. CB Cotton, Denver 7.